In a meeting organized by the Center for Public Interest Law and the Anti-Corruption Coalition to discuss judicial accountability and the current judicial appointment process, lawyers, judges and members of the civil society unanimously agreed to have some changes made in the appointment of judges. Justice Kenneth Kakuro of the Court of Appeal, who spoke at the meeting, revealed that the appointment of judges is still shrouded in mystery and that many people have been left out by the Judicial Service Commission because they are not known something he suggests should be revised. Many good people are left out because they are not known by that small committee. Whether they are the committees of five or two or I don't know, the one which selects the ones we read in the newspapers. So that also to that extent has a problem. The panel of experts, which included a senior lawyer Peter Mulira, Anti-Corruption Coalition Executive Director Sisi Kagaba and Law Don Businji Kabumba revealed that a more independent, impartial and transparent approach should be employed in appointing judges. Appointments should be based on merit having regard to qualifications, skills and capacity required to adjudicate cases by applying the law. You appear before the people, before a committee, but in public. So that the appointment of judicial officers is not like the select, uh, selection of the Pope, where people are waiting outside, the faithful are waiting to see whether it's is it white smoke or black smoke to determine who has been appointed. In most cases, if you have an open process, it becomes very difficult to manipulate. But then also we know it provides insurance against political or other pressures. They also want the Judicial Service Commission to make public the names of the nominees and also recommended that the public should have a stake in picking the candidates they think are fit to hold the positions. Emphasis is put on qualifications and skills with the greatest respect. Skills do not necessarily bring out the character and attitude. Character and attitude is in DNA. It will provide judicial independence. The Judicial Service Commission is the body that is tasked with nominating the persons who are deemed fit of taking up judicial positions. The names are then forwarded to the President for appointment. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.